this is the Dofer A185-2 Precision Adder. I acquired this module in a trade. I was trading a more expensive module for some other things. And the person I was trading with didn't want to add cash. So I looked at some other stuff that he had and I just picked this out basically because as I've said before, I'm a big fan of Dofer modules and I didn't really even know what this thing did. But I am absolutely loving it. I played around with it, I learned how to use it, and I, I started, my brain just started going on all these different creative ways that I could patch it and incorporate it. So I actually ended up buying a second one, and right now I have plans for a big rack that I'm gonna be slowly adding modules to. And, uh, and I definitely wanna get a third, maybe even a fourth one, probably down the road a little bit. But the point is, is it's awesome. There's tons of uses for it. And I wanna show you a few in this video. So when I first saw the name Precision Adder, I was a little bit confused. I just kind of assumed that it was adding precision, uh, like making voltages more precise or something. And what I found out is that it actually adds voltages precisely, if that makes sense. It probably would have made more sense to me if it had been called a voltage adder, but either way, it's just a name. That's what it does. It adds voltages and it gives you a lot of control and fun things that you can do with it. So this isn't gonna be a complete tutorial on how to use it, but I think it's good just to introduce it to you and show you basically what it does. And I'm gonna walk through a patch that kind of shows off some creative ways you can incorporate it into your own patches. And I hope that this video gets your creative juices flowing so that you start thinking about all the different ways that you could use this or maybe other modules and you can do whatever it is you want with them. So I picked out a few choice modules to show this off with and let's jump into it. Okay, let's build up this patch. First, let me go through the modules I'm gonna use. I have mostly Dofer modules. I have a switched multiple, my two precision adders, Quadrax, which I'm gonna be using to create envelopes, the Dofer dual quantizer, a VCA from Dofer, the basic VCO from Dofer. This is an AI synthesis VCO. This was a DIY build. I should note now that I'm giving away DIY modules that I build on my Patreon page for tier three members. So if you're interested in checking out the monthly raffles, sign up for tier three of my Patreon page, the link's below in the description. And then I'm gonna be using a Mordax data to kind of show you everything. So I'm gonna hook up my Dofer VCO to the tuner so you can see what's going on. And I'll send the signal out of the data and into my VCA. So we can hear it now. I'll turn it down so it doesn't get too annoying. Let's take a look at the basic principles of the precision adder. Right now, there's nothing plugged into it. You have three outs, which are the sum of all the voltages and then an inverted version. Let's just go ahead and use the plus for right now. Now, with all of these switched off, it should make no difference when I plug this into the volts per octave. Let's ignore the first one for now because that's attached to this attenuator. We'll get there in a second. These last three will add or subtract, depending on the way you switch it, one volt. If we look real quick on a voltage monitor right here at the top, we can see that if you turn these, it goes up one volt, two volts, three volts, and you can even make combinations of them, etc., etc. This top one, if you turn it on, this acts as an attenuator for any signal coming in, but you can also dial in a specific voltage rather than just having one volt. So all the way up is one volt, but you could also go anywhere in between. So how do you use this? The most obvious way is to change your nodes. If we go back to our tuner, you can see that when I click it up one volt, since it's volts per octave, it goes up one full octave. And you could even transpose it up another octave. And you could go down. You could also play any note in between.
Let's set up a simple sequence. I've got a sequencer off the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into one of my patches here. And I'll plug the gate from my sequencer into my quadrax, and we'll send that out into the CV control of the VCA. So when I hit play on my sequencer, you don't actually hear the sequence. The gate is going and creating envelopes, but you're hearing the same note. And that's because this is shut off. When I turn it on, rather than going up a whole volt, you're instead going to be getting whatever's coming out of this patch. Now, if you notice on the tuner, it goes down a little bit when you turn it on. And that's because the bias on my sequencer is off a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and run it through a quantizer. We were going to use it anyway later. Let's just do it right now. So now, this is the sequence. Pretty cool. It's just an eight step sequence, super basic. But let's use our precision adder to kind of change things around. Nice. Actually, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Let's send Rather than sending the quantizer before we get to the precision adder, let's send it after we go through the precision adder. So now what I'm gonna do is set this attenuator to a specific harmony. Let's set it up a fifth. Now, when we play our sequence, we can, we can change chords. Pretty cool stuff. Now we can also combine the two precision adders and let's take this one and feed it into the second one. So for this one, let's just set it to a value that's different than this one. We'll play around with it and we can turn it on. That's one use that you can use for the precision editors to just to change your sequences. And if you didn't want it quantized, then you could use it to transpose your sequences. But there's a little bit more you can do when you start adding in a second voice. This is where you can make harmonies and chords and do other cool things. So I'm gonna take my sequence and we'll plug it into the multiple. I'll send that sequence back into its original place. So our patch is just the same as it was before. But let's multiply it and we'll send and we'll send it through the quantizer. Let's go into our other VCO. I'm going to also multiply the gate. So we'll set this one to 2. We'll send that one back over to where it was before to trigger this first one. And then we'll take the second one and we'll trigger number 2. So the blue chords are controlling the do for VCO. The red chords are controlling the AI synthesis VCO. The do for VCO is turned down and you have the AI, AI synthesis. And if I turn it on, I'm gonna bring in the do for and it should be just a spinning image. They should be um, the exact same sequence. <laughs> So now let's just create a unison octave. So I'm going to turn the do for VCO up an octave. And 
And there you go. So now we're just creating one octave of unison. But here is where the magic really comes in, because now we can play harmonies. So those are, that's perfect fifths because this is set to a fifth. Pretty cool stuff. And this is where my mind just started going in all kinds of different places. If you can string these together, you can have total control over all kinds of different crazy harmonies. I was also thinking that you could make full chords with a, with an extra VCO. It, I mean, just the possibilities are just endless. But one more thing I wanted to quickly show was that you can also plug in some type of modulation source into here, and then this acts as an attenuator. So I've got an LFO going. I'm gonna plug it into this, and let's hear how it affects the sound. I'm gonna turn down the uh, AI synthesis VCO so you can hear just this moving around a little bit. It's set pretty low. I'll turn it up just so you can hear it, and then I'll turn it back to a more reasonable level. There you go. You get the idea. It's super fun to play around with. Endless possibilities. I hope that explains kind of how this works. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing more videos about this. As I said in the intro, once I get another one and start really working out some cool patches, I'll make sure to share them. So if you're interested in this stuff, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, check out my Patreon page for the DIY module giveaways. I'd really appreciate it if you signed up. I couldn't do this channel without my Patreon members. So thanks so much to my members for their support. And I hope you join us there, over there, too. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm just going to play around with this and play us out.